Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Mercy upon mankind Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen Amma ba'du fa'a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulallah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habiballah Assalatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiyallah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurallah my dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madrid channel, Alhamdulillah, once again we are back with our program, The Cure of Every Illness, Salli Ala Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, during these episodes, this program, we have been discussing many ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wasallam in relation to the virtues and the excellences of Salawat and Salam, Durud Paak upon him Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wasallam. In addition to this, we have been going over many accounts of our pious predecessors rahimahumullah ta'ala in this regard as well that what benefits they found in their lifetime and also in certain accounts about the pious predecessors after they have left this world when people saw them in the dreams and the benefits that they received due to their recitation of salawat upon the prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam inshallah ta'ala continuing on with this theme we will continue with our silsila our program the cure of every illness Salli ala Muhammad. It's a Madani request to all viewers to please try to watch the program from beginning until end so that you can also build the enthusiasm inside yourselves to increase in your recitation of salawat and salam durood paak upon the Prophet of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Insha'Allah ta'ala today we will mention a few quotes and accounts of our, the holy people, the pious people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try to understand uh, some sort of lessons from these accounts as well, insha'Allah. A holy man has said that I had a friend and we used to take knowledge of a hadith together. So they would study under a particular scholar of the science of hadith together. And that man states that when he died, when my friend died, I saw him in my dream wearing a dark green suit and strolling around. I asked him, are you not the same person who used to write a hadith with me? He replied, yes, I am. I used to do one thing whenever I would see the name of the Holy Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam in the hadith, I would write sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam below it. This is the outcome of that deed, which you see now. Subhanallah, subhanallah, my dear Islam brothers. Look at the benefit this uh, man received that just by him reciting, writing the Durood Paak sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam with the name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam when compiling the ahadith, writing down the ahadith, he was seen in a good manner that he was wearing a dark green suit and strolling around as well. Today, alhamdulillah, in our episode, we are going through some parables which tell us how the pious people of Allah were bestowed with blessings by writing through the Paak. We at times also in our messages, in our writings, write the name of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. But the question is, do we write through the Paak along with the name of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam or not? If we do, sometimes we see that it is abbreviated and written in the short form. For example, in Urdu, when you write the name of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for through the Paak, sometimes they write the letter Saad in the top corner. Or sometimes they write the, let, the letters Saad, Lam, Ain, Mim, Sal, Am. This is a way of abbreviating the Dhrur Paak. In the English language, sometimes we write S-A-W or even P-B-U-H. This is all impermissible, haram. Miserliness is such, is much unfit here. We should definitely write Dhrur Paak in full. As long as it stays in there, as long as that Durood Paak and the name of the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Wasallam will remain in that piece of writing, we will continue to get a reward and we will continue to gain virtues insha'Allah Ta'ala. In this regard, let's mention another interesting parable. It is mentioned in Al-Qawlul Badi 
Sayyidina Sufyan bin Uyayna rahmatullahi ta'ala li has said, I had a friend who was like a brother to me. He died and I saw him in a dream and asked him, how did Allah Azza wa Jal treat you? He said that he was forgiven by Allah and I asked the reason. So he replied that I used to write a hadith and whenever I would see the name of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala in the text, I would write sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. I used to do that to earn reward. As an outcome, I was forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, my dear Islam brothers, if we write salawat having good intentions, it can be a cause for our forgiveness by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here's another beautiful parable mentioned in the very same book, al Qawl al-Badi. The Abu al-Hassan Mamuni, rahmatullahi ta'ala, he said that I saw Hassan bin Uyayna, rahmatullahi ta'ala, in a dream after his demise. I could see something written with gold or saffron on his fingers. Therefore, I humbly asked him, the dear teacher, I see something really nice written on your fingers. What is it? He replied, it is the outcome and benefit of writing a hadith of the Holy Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, how fortunate the muhaddithin are. The scholars of hadith that write the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam, how fortunate they really are. Those who publicize the talks about the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam as well, gain high ranks. Today I am especially reading you these narrations and parables of those who used to write a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam, narrate these ahadith and were especially blessed due to the durud e upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. This entire episode is about this one concept of writing durud e upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. So let's make this good intention inshallah that whenever we are going to get the opportunity to write the blessed name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, we will make it a must upon ourselves to include the writing of sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of us, the viewers of Madrid channel, we should practice how to write sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Arabic language. So that whenever it comes time to write in the name of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we can quickly write sallallahu alayhi wa sallam there as well and gain the blessings of this. Or what, can, what you can do is if you write the Prophet uh, and leave a gap for sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then carry on writing. And then when you come to the end of this, then you can include the sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in those gaps. So like this, inshallah ta'ala, you will gain the benefits and the rewards of his writing the rude park along the blessed name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. As it takes us a few seconds to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, once you come into practice of writing sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this will also only take you a few seconds as well. So it's not a task that will take a long time. It can be very, very short, very, very quickly. It's just about getting into practice of how to write durud e pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a right manner, in the correct manner, in the Arabic language, insha'Allah ta'ala. Another narration, Sayyidina Shaykh Ali bin Abdul Karim, the Mishki rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has said, that I once saw Muhammad bin Imam Zakiyuddin in a dream, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, after his demise, and he said to me, I entered Jannah, and there I kissed the blessed hands of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Then the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said to me, there is a glad tidings for you. The one who writes, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, will have my company in Jannah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. My dear Islam, look at the grace and the bounty of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. This is completely incomparable. Reciting salawat causes mercy to descend. Reciting salawat causes diseases to vanish. Reciting salawat causes abundance in our wealth and our income, in our sustenance. Reciting salawat removes the calamities. It helps one in repaying the loan, the debt, and gets rid of any disease. And one is also bestowed with mercy if he writes it. Subhanallah, my dear Islam brothers. Durood, salawat upon the Messenger sallallahu ta'ala is an invocation which benefits us in this world as well as in the hereafter. Some people write the blessed name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala but they do not write salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala with it. Maybe they are lazy or they are miserly in this regard. 
that they want to save some space on the paper or want to save some time. Well, my dear Islam brothers, my message to you all is that we should all listen to the following narration very, very carefully. Sayyiduna Abu Muzaffar rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has stated that I saw the Holy Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa in my dream. And I felt that the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa unwillingly to shake hands. Then I took a step forward, held the blessed hand of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala and kissed it and humbly said, Oh my master, I serve the signs of ahadith. I belong to the Ahl Sunnah. I am your slave. And the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala smiled and replied to me, When you recite the rood, why don't you recite salam? After that, I made it my routine that whenever I used to write sallallahu alayhi, I would also add wa sallam. My dear son, make sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam your invocation. Try to recite and write it as an invocation. Subhanallah. Let's just mention another beautiful narration uh, in relation to this as well. Sayyidina Jafir bin Abdullah rahmatullahi ta'ala has said, I saw a well-known muhaddith rahmatullahi ta'ala offering salah with angels in Jannah. I asked him how he got such a rank and he replied that I wrote a hundred thousand ahadith with my hand. And whenever I saw that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala's name would appear, I would also add the root salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala himself said, Whoever recites salawat upon me once, Allah bestows ten blessings upon him. Subhanallah. An honor to offer salah with the angels is bestowed upon the muhaddithin, the ahadith writers, and those who write the root upon the messenger sallallahu ta'ala alayhi Some people refrain from writing the root. Dear Islam brothers, we must remember that they may get ruined due to not reciting the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wa or also not writing the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Just think to yourself, my dear Islam brothers, that those who didn't write the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam due to some sort of laziness, may Allah azawajal forbid, they suffered and faced punishment. Abu Zakariya Yahya bin Malik rahmatullahi ta'ala has said that one of his friends from Basra told him that one of my friends used to write a hadith and whenever the Prophet Sallallahu's name would appear, he would not write the rood upon the Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam. He used to do that to save the paper. The narrator further reported that when he met that person, he saw a boil on the man's right hand. It is fair to call one's hand and tongue useless if they are reluctant in making the rood upon the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. So my dear Islam, look at the consequence of not writing the rood upon the Prophet after the mentioning of the name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala in our writings. That individual he mentioned that he received a boil on his right hand. May Allah protect us all. May Allah give us all the tawfiq and the ability that whenever we write the name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, we also write the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Now let's come on to mention another beautiful narration and this narration is of one of the great Imams, the leader of millions of Shafi'is around the world. And that is none other than Imam Shafi'i rahmatullahi ta'ala. Subhanallah, this parable, it is mentioned in the book, Saadatul Darin, that Abdullah bin Abdul Hakam rahmatullahi ta'ala said, I saw Imam Shafi'i rahmatullahi ta'ala in a dream and asked him, that how did Allah Azza wa Jal treat you? Imam Shafi'i said that Allah was kind to me. He forgave me and treated me extremely well in Jannah. Just like a newly wed bride is welcomed, I was bestowed with immense mercies, just like a newly wed bride is showered with mercy. I asked that how did you reach such a position? And a voice was heard that he reached this position by the virtue of salawat durood upon the Prophet sallallahu that he wrote in his books. And I was replied with, he wrote this salawat and it is such a great salawat as well. You can see it on the screen, my dear Islam brothers. The translation of this salawat is that, O oh Allah, send mercy upon the Prophet sallallahu equal to the number of times people making remembrance make his remembrance and equal to the number of times people oblivious of his remembrance remain oblivious. Then it was further re reported that when I woke up in the morning and read that booklet in which Imam Shafi rahmatullahi ta'ala had written this particular Durud-e-Pak, I found that same Durud-e-Pak mentioned in it. 
Imam Shafi rahmatullahi ta'ala also wrote the excellence of the rood upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala Subhanallah. He did a lot to preach the deen, the religion of Islam. And one gets high ranks by reciting salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala writing this salawat and also teaching it to others. So my dear brothers, in today's episode we have gone over quite a few different narrations and parables about the pious predecessors rahimahumullah ta'ala and the reward that they attained for writing the rood along with the blessed name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala Today, the lesson that we need to learn from today's episode is very, very clear. That whenever we are also going to be blessed with the opportunity to write the name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala then along with the blessed name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala we need to include the writing of salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam as well, insha'Allah azza wa jal. May Allah bless us all with tawfiq and ability that we are able to read, recite salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and also write salawat along with the blessed name of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam whenever we get this opportunity, insha'Allah azza wa jal. We'll be back with another episode of our silsila, the cure of every illness. Salli ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa Until then, continue to watch Madani channel and benefit from the various transmissions and programs that Madani channel is bringing to you. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mercy upon mankind Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam